Hello everyone, I'm Mads Banko from Kaiser Power Electronics and today I would like to show you this UPS. It's a General Electric LP33. It's a 10 kilowatt, kil it's a 10 kVA unit. So uh, let's get it taken apart and take a look inside. By the way, it's from uh, 2005 so I expect to find some nice IGBT bricks inside. Hopefully not SCRs or certainly not any uh, skip. Uh, IGT modules, but uh, let's get started. The unit itself is about one and a half meter tall and one meter deep. Here at the front we have a uh, small uh, digital display and some buttons. Not much uh, to see here, some alarm menu metering, a few warning and alarm LEDs. If we open the door down here, we can see on the sticker here it's a 10 kVA unit. And down here we have the model number and make and year, serial number, and so on. There is a uh, total off button here. We have a USB out, bypass out switches. And we have, uh, let's see, what's it's battery input. And this is probably a supply input fuses. These are large melting fuses but uh, yeah let's get the sides off and see what's inside the front of the control board has a serial uh, connector network interface just a small couple of prints the display connected up here at the top the uh, whole control board that we have here is controlled by a single Silinx Spartan FPGA. At the top we have the, uh, the connector to the uh, gate drive board of the output inverter and there is a connector up here to the gate drive board of the intermediate inverter. These two clusters of uh, three pinned uh, wires or four four pin wires are all the current transformers that we can see around in the unit The brown and white wires are all inputs and outputs to relays and buttons Over here we have a uh, power supply and also a switch board for the higher current relays Starting at the battery compartment we can see that there is room for four drawers of batteries and if we follow the red and blue wires to the other side They went into the uh, fuse that we saw on the front down here, comes back out and goes through a few chokes, continues up to the output rectifier board where it connects the uh, neutral and two DC lines. Um, if we go back and look at where the main supply comes in, this is the right board here and we have the load connector over here. So basically this in and output filter board connects up through the, uh, these are the bypass chokes, power relays to shift between modes. The wires going through here comes from the input filter side, goes to the uh, active rectifier board, goes back through the uh, power relays on the other side, comes back to the uh, three-phased um, rectified capacitor filter goes up through these uh, three current transformers comes up to the intermediate uh, chokes goes back down to the uh, inverter board this is the uh, yeah, let's see, it says inverter power board 10 to 20 kVA and as we also can see over here we have only uh, one out of two capacitors mounted and this is because this unit is actually could, could be a 20 kVA unit but they, it only has components mounted to be a 10 kVA unit. If we take a look at the boost power board again we can also see that there is no IGBTs mounted in the middle, no diodes and the missing uh, capacitors. 
So let's take a look at the, some of the stuff I took home from the uh, UPS. First, there is a couple of uh, 4700 um, microfarad 450 volt electrolytic capacitors. But being 12 years old, these are probably not worth that much anymore. Then there was 600 amps uh, current transformers from LEM. There is uh, three ICAR um, MKP or polypropylene capacitors, 50, uh, 50 microfarads at 300 volt AC. These are nice uh, power film capacitors. Um, the rectifier board had three SKKT 27B12E uh, controlled rectifiers. These are 27 ampere at 1200 volt DC. The main boost inverter had these two uh, half bridge bricks, which are a Simicron SKM75. So these are 75 ampere, 1200 volt uh, IGPTs. The uh, intermediate inverter had three two MBI 50N120 IGPTs. These are most likely 50 ampere, 120 volt DC half bridge modules, uh, also IGPTs. And there are two um, single controlled rectifier bricks, SKL 9220. So these are uh, 92 ampere at 1200 volts. So this was about what I took home with me. Um, I was running out of time, so I could not really dismantle much more of the uh, UPS. I took a few f still photos so you could enjoy the uh, high resolution pictures and even maybe pause the video if you like to see some more details on the boards. Here first we have the system controller board and the next is the input and output filtering at, that we had at the bottom of the enclosure. The next picture is the output boost converter. On the back side of this we have the intermediate inverter which supplies the DC bus voltage to the output boost converter. And at the top we have the intermediate chokes at the bottom and the output chokes at the top. I hope you enjoyed watching the teardown of this uh, General Electrix UPS. I'm sorry that the sound was a little bad, but there was a lot of noise on, at the scrapyard, so that was uh, quite impossible to do anything about that. But uh, if you like it and you want to watch some more teardowns, more high voltage projects and so on, uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me, visit my webpage, yeah, basically, build some projects, learn some electronics, have fun, see ya.